how's everyone doing today I'm doing well I'm smoking here my Chacon pipe the one I reviewed last time uh, doing really well I'm smoking uh, McLaren vanilla custard and that softy bit is working out perfectly for the clenching so today I wanted to share with you my latest acquisition I uh, just got my first Savinelli I got the Savinelli Quercia 512JU so Quercia stands for oak that's the rustication pattern and the JU stands for jumbo so any of you that like big bowl you're in for a treat um, that's what the box looks like it's a hard box and this is the last one I review just in comparison so that already tells me the pipe was gonna be big there we see Savinelli 1876 now this is when they first opened their shop and what's interesting about that is that uh, this was the first shop of its kind where people could go and um, and shop anything having to do with with pipe smoking you could buy a pipe you could buy the pouches you could buy things to light it up stands you name it um, and they didn't have this before just to put it in perspective in 1876 Alexander Graham Bell made the first phone call and sardines were being canned for the first time and Mark Twain wrote uh, published Tom Sawyer so but in Milan Italy they had their first shop where people could just hang out and smoke their pipes um, and that was just a, a clever and innovative idea of um, of bringing this name Savinelli into the history books uh, the man's name was Achille Savinelli uh, he opened this shop and uh, and of course immediately was very popular uh, hot spot uh, if you could say for people that like the hobby um, so why is I was thinking you know why Savinelli such a reference now for good pipes and every time I research on the internet um, which are which pipes should I buy which are the best pipe Savinelli always came at top number one um, in almost everybody's list and so I have my own theory um, by doing the research um, two reasons one um, the family pretty much kept in line passing it on from son to son to son so there was a consistency in terms of Achille uh, pass it on to his son Carlos and Carlos pass it on to his son Achille Jr. and then from Achille Jr. went to the current president Giancarlo so as I was looking at other uh, famous names in pipes um, often I found that uh, someone else had bought it and then another family acquired it and then the pipes were made not in a different place so over the years you had a inconsistency in quality you had to see well let's see what year was made and where the factory was and maybe that quality wasn't as good as the other year well that's not the case with Savinelli pretty much uh, is the same factory that uh, the Achilles Jr. started I think around uh, 1948 something like that if I remember and that's the same factory that still today uh, they they keep the same kind of quality control which makes me to reason number two is just the work specification that they have um, he started with 15 workers now they have about 30 but each of them is an expert in in a specific job so you have one person that just does the rustications for example and that's all he does and then a person that fits the stem and that's all he does and a person that separates the briars uh, to 
you know, put the ones with the higher quality in this basket and the ones that they're going to use for uh, this other type in this basket. And it goes to a, a process of, of check and balances um, that is almost more like a workshop versus a factory. So I think that's the reason number two, just the way they have kept that kind of quality over quantity um, concept. And so the product is, um, is very consistent across the board. So anyway, just a little bit of history there for the Savinelli. Uh, let's go and open the box. So here we have the first is a brochure with <laughs> more products to buy. It's a big temptation. Everything from more pipes to lighters and pouches and you name it. Well, I'll have to look at this in detail later, see maybe what's going to be my next one. All right. And then we have instructions here on actually how to smoke a pipe in English and in Italian. I don't expect you to be able to read that, but I read it already. And, uh, and there's instructions from how to pack it to how to light it. Um, and there's one more thing here is what we're talking about, the quality control. So even until the last minute, they check again to make sure that um, this is um, good quality. If not, doesn't get the Savinelli name and uh, I guess either discarded or maybe one of those basket pipes that just don't say Savinelli on him. So, so here we go. It came in this little pouchy. <laughs> and look at this thing. That's a big bowl. And on the bottom here, it says uh, the Quercia and Savinelli and then that 512JU that I mentioned. Hopefully you guys can see it. So in comparison to the last one, just so you can see, I guess I'll turn around this way. You can see it side by side the bowl quite larger I don't know how to put him <laughs> ah this is the best way there you go <laughs> you can see it there better so I can't wait to try it and see I'll let you guys know how it goes um, definitely should be a over an hour smoke if going by the size of the bowl I think I can fit two fingers in there that's pretty large quite large but anyway I hope you enjoy this I like to keep my videos short and I'll let you know how it goes you guys have a great evening keep smoking your pipes keeps relaxing FCP out.